purpose of this conference was really just to kind of raise awareness that there are formerly incarcerated people here. Like we're graduate students, we're faculty, we're undergraduates, you know, and um, hopefully to give some incentive to other formerly incarcerated students here on campus that have maybe been keeping their head down, you know, haven't really been wanting to identify and hopefully bring them out of the woodworks and show them that, like, look, there's a space, there's a community for you here. There's always been people, formerly incarcerated people in university settings that have gone on to be like crazy successful, that have gone on to be lawyers and doctors and it's formerly incarcerated people that are that are coming that are that are organizing and mobilizing around around this shared experience. So like what's different now is that we're seeking each other out. You know, like there's two and a half million people that are incarcerated in the United States, another like eight million people on probation or parole. And so like basically there's like ten million people in the United States that have experienced incarceration in some way. I'm for decarceration, I'm for making our communities better. That at the end of the day is what abolition means to me. Yes, it's about ending prisons, right? But how do we do that, right? You, you don't just end something without replacing it with well, meaningful relationships and structures to support people. At the end of the day, it's about building positive inroads in people's lives to wellness. There are many structures in place that keep the carceral state in place. So I'm not one to be, ooh, this reform or that reform is gonna make us free. Because it's not, it, that's a reformist agenda, which by its very nature, goes against an abolition pedagogy. Now some reforms can be abolitionist if they are not for extending the carceral state. And so you don't want to expend a whole lot of political energy focusing on one small problem. We need to focus on the root causes, like what causes violence. Most people are in for quote unquote violent offenses. And so why are we trying to fix people to remain in broken structures that are killing them, right? Instead of medicating people, instead of trying to reform the person, why don't we reform the system? Like I think, like by like formerly incarcerated people taking up space in elite um, institutions like this is, you know, is uh, is a form of resistance in itself.